Okay, so how do key encapsulation mechanisms actually work? Um, as you probably heard, the key encapsulation mechanisms are different to uh, how we normally handle secret keys for um, establishing sessions, encrypted sessions. With traditional techniques like RSA key transport, um, a user would uh, generate a session key, then encrypt it using the public key, send that uh, encrypted blob to uh, the recipient who would then actually decrypt it with their private key and extract the session key. Uh, key agreement, of course, you know, multiple parties can get together and use their uh, public keys to actually agree on a shared secret, which they can recover by using their uh, private keys as part of the process. Now, with a key encapsulation mechanism, you don't actually get to generate the session key. Uh, what happens basically is one person, one party takes the public key of the other party, they perform the key encapsulation step, and that actually returns a secret key and the encapsulation together. Now the encapsulation is then sent to the party owning the private key and they can use that encapsulation to recover the secret key in, in a manner you could probably say is similar to what we're used to with RSA key transport. The issue of course though is that that initial step where the public key is actually being used there is a calculation that has to be performed to create the encapsulation and generate the session key, which is unusual for uh, RSA where you normally generate the session key up front. This will mean that we're going to actually have to change a lot of the protocols that we use around um, key transport to actually take advantage of the fact that this um, requires the generation of the, these algorithms will actually generate the session key for you.